Let me do a simple tutorial of a Green's theorem. Example. Evaluate line integral of x dx plus x squared times y dy. Using Green's theorem, where c is a closed path formed by y equals to x and y equals to x squared. From origin to point 1 comma 1. Solution. Let me draw x y plane here. This is my x y plane where the curve C ranges from 0 to y equals to x square. This is the curve of a function. Let me connect with the x-axis, which equals to y equals to x square. So here the value along y is y equals to x square. Let me connect these two points. Equation says that y equals to x. I draw this diagram according to the equation, whatever it has been asked. The equation says that the curve ranges from y equals to x to y equals to x square. It is from origin 0 comma 0 to points 1 comma 1 where x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 because x equals to y here. According to the Green's theorem where line integral is equal to the double surface integral on the right side. So this left side is always equal to the right side. If I compare the left side to the right side, look here the function f sub 1 is with respect to x but at the right side f sub 1 is with respect to y. Function 1 is here, which is x. Similarly, f2 at the left side is with respect to y, but at the right side it is with respect to x. Function 2 is here, x squared times y. I use dx dy at the left side, and also dx dy on the right side. At the left side, line integral is a single integration, but at the right side, surface integration is double integration. Now start from the left side, where C stands for curve of an object, or boundary of an object, or the outermost line of an object. Look to the diagram. This is my C1, and this is my C2. I made two sides of this diagram. One is C1, and one is C2. Curve 1, curve 2, or side 1, side 2. And we all know that line integration takes place in anti-clockwise direction. First C1 and then C2. At the right side, R stands for the region under the curve, or surface under the curve. And the region under the curve is here. This is the region under that green curve. So look to the diagram. This green boundary is the left side, which is the line integration. And the region under that green boundary shows the right side of the equation which is R. This is the region under that curve. According to Green's theorem, line integral on an object equals to the double integral or the region of that object. So I will only find the right side. I have nothing to do with the left side. But if you want to calculate the left side, the final answer will be equal. Left side is always equal to the right side. Let me calculate the right side. Substitute the value of f sub 2, which is x squared times y, and f sub 1, which is x. And then take their partial derivatives. Partial derivative of y squared times x with respect to x is y squared. And partial derivative of x with respect to y is 0. This is my new equation on the right side. Now to find the limits, look to the diagram. x equals to y and y equals to x square. So I can write x equals to x square. So either you use x equals to x square or y equals to x square. It is one thing. Bring the x square to the left side to have x minus x square equals to 0. And take x common where the coordinates along x equals to x equals to 0 and x equals to 1. So these are the coordinates along x axis which ranges from 0 to 1. y equals to x and y equals to x square, which means that the region under that curve ranges from y equals to x to y equals to x square. These are the coordinates points along y axis. So let me just put these coordinates here, where my new equation ranges from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1, and y equals to x square to y equals to x. Now let me calculate it. First take it with respect to y to have y cube over 3. Now put the limits, take 1 over 3 common to have x cube minus x to the 6 with respect to dx. Now when you take it with respect to x, it becomes x to the 4 over 4 minus x to the 7 over 7. 
and then when you put the limits x equals to 0 and x equals to 1 it becomes a final value will be 1 out 36 so this is the final value of Green's theorem 1 out 36 this is my final answer 1 out 36